that still roughly 15 and a half million Americans are without a job. Nancy Pelosi spoke yesterday with the Treasury Secretary. Seemingly, there was no progress on that call for the 15 and a half million Americans and millions others who could absolutely care less about the politics of it all. What would you tell them is coming next, considering that it seems as if nothing is moving policy-wise going forward? Yeah, what I would say is this, um, you know, Secretary Mnuchin said yesterday, I am willing to move forward with legislation that provides funds to schools, childcare, food, vaccines, hospitals, PPP for small businesses, rental assistance, broadband, airports, state and local government assistance, and liability protection for university schools and businesses. He's been unmistakable, this administration has and this president has. We're willing to move forward on that. What we're not willing to do uh, is rubber stamp a behemoth $3.4 trillion deal that the Democrats put forward that was fundamentally unserious, that would have made ballot harvesting mainstream, that was a Democrat wish list. That's what will not move forward with. But this president, out of anyone, has taken action, serious action on eviction protection, serious action on unemployment insurance, on a payroll tax cut, student loan forgiveness in his executive capacity. And what I would say, the state of things now is, you know, you have Nancy Pelosi saying we were willing to come down a trillion if they came up a trillion. Well, it's fundamentally unserious because the Democrats, the chief of staff has told me, wouldn't even tell us uh, what they would take out of the one trillion. So they said we'd come down a trillion, but wouldn't list out the things that they would take out of their Democrat wish list. So Nancy Pelosi needs to come back from recess and negotiate because the American people deserve better. There are some conservatives who have made the argument that $3 trillion, give or take, has already been spent and no more needs to be spent. If there isn't a deal that is viable, is the White House of the position that since $3 trillion has been spent, it's okay, we don't need to spend any more. No, the president is all about what is best for America's families. He wants to see funding for our schools, a direct payments to Americans. He's protected the American people in every way he can in his executive capacity. Um, but as you noted, in terms of um, the fiscal cost of things and the, height of, and the height of this, when the economy was shut down, there was a $2 trillion deal negotiated. Uh, next, after that, when the economy was reopened, it was a $1 trillion deal. So for the Democrats to say, we want more than what we even negotiated and passed during an economic shutdown and to say we need 3.4 trillion it's really an unserious proposal